What's up friends, fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and today we got a mail day coming up. Um, I've actually had a couple of these for a little over a week. I was waiting for a little bit more mail to come in to kind of stack up, and then today the mailbox was full of stuff, so let's go ahead and see what we got coming. We got a, this is a order from Blowout Cards I bought off the forums. We got a package from Joe Mansman. Um, this is the whatever these are called, the KMG boxes or whatever. I recognize these black boxes from other people doing videos on them. Of course, this isn't a, this isn't a subscription box. It's a care package from Mr. Joe Mansman. We got a contest win from Stemmer's Hits in that one. And we got a big envelope here from Mr. Four Leaf Cards. Uh, I've seen other videos where they've opened these, so I might have a general idea of uh, what is in this, uh, this big blue bubble mailer um blue bubbles uh but yeah so we'll go ahead and get into all this let's uh, run the intro while i cut into all this because it's probably gonna take a few minutes to cut into all this stuff and then we'll see what we got okay folks let's go ahead and get into it uh, took a little elbow grease to get into a couple of these packages, so it took me a little bit longer than I thought, but we're into them, so we'll go ahead and see what uh, Stemmer's Hits sent. Of course, links to all these channels will be in the description below, so definitely check out Stemmer's Hits. Um, this was a contest win from, I believe, uh, him and Boomslang were doing a live stream, and... I won a couple short prints. How about Mr. Ernie Banks? Let's get the focus right. Mr. Ernie Banks and Nolan Arenado short prints from uh, 2020 Tops, which is really sweet because I did not have either of these. I don't collect Arenado, uh, so the Arenado short print uh, will probably end up in a repack, or I may send this off to somebody. I know that clicks Arenado and his Ernie Banks is sweet. Uh, another card you add to the binder. Great binder card here. Ernie Banks short prints. Absolutely love the short prints of the Hall of Famers and tops. So thank you very much, Stemmers and Boomslang. Uh, Boomslang for having the stream. Stemmers for giving away something on the stream. I really appreciate that. Always great to um, win giveaways and stuff, but it's even better to give. So let's go ahead and see what four leaf sent. Realize I didn't cut this all the elbow grease and didn't even cut into four leaves. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. So four leaf. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, it is the exact same thing I saw on the other channels. Seeing it in person. Oh man, this is sweet. This is sweet. Orly, great job on this, man. I love the color on it. And Forley says he can't draw faces. I think he did just fine on this one, man. That is awesome, dude. I'm gonna have to get this one framed up and hung up. Absolutely love it. Hank Aaron, Braves legend. Um, that's just that's that's a beautiful gift for any Braves fan. Um, I don't know what to say, Eric. I mean, really, really, really do appreciate this. This is actually a giveaway for a giveaway. Uh, I believe Four Leaf uh, gave away a prize to everybody. Everybody was a winner. Uh, him and Little Leaf announced that everybody was a winner for his giveaway, which was an entry to Sean Tiford giveaway. <laughs> but uh, this is this is just really really awesome. Um, that's 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 great. I love it. That whatever red you used on that really pops, man. What's in there? Oh, sweet. And we got 16 out of 18. Four leaf. Best of luck. 
Thank you, sir. Now I have one of your cards to add to the stash, the YouTube collection. Really appreciate it, Four Leaf. That is freaking awesome. I'm gonna get this uh, back in the envelope so I don't damage it at all, but I need to pick up a frame for this beauty. Uh, really appreciate it, man. That's just, that's really awesome. All right, next up, we got cards from Mr. Mansman. This is a care package, Joe Mansman. He said, prepare my PC because he's going to blow it up. <laughs> These are always, uh, I don't know if that was a threat or, or what, but uh, <laughs> that's always a wonderful threat to get. Um, let's see here. So, got a few stacks here. Now I got tape stuck to my coffee cup. <laughs> Into my mouse. All right, let's see what uh, Joe sent. So a few stacks here. I see some dolphins. I see some Braves. Oh wow, yeah, De Joe definitely is blowing up my PC already. I can see all these Braves already. Oh sweet, is that a UK? Uh, yeah, that's a UK. Okay. Um, this will be the first one of these cards I've had added to my collection. That's the UK variation. On the back, you can see it says UK edition up there above the number. Cunha, very nice. How about a Shailing Alir's Ice? Ice is nice. Thank you, Joe. A Juan Soto UK edition. Oh my goodness. Joe. Joe, you kidding me, man? I did not have this card. Oh, Joe, man. I appreciate it. How about a Dale Murphy rookie? With Bo Diaz, Lance Parrish, and Ernie Witt. And this is a card I did not have. Holy crap. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Joe Mansman. Wow. Whew. That one's, yeah, that one hits me. I really, <laughs> I can't even, this was a card that I didn't have. You know, and I haven't really hunted it out or anything like that. And, you know, I, you could always just search for it and spend a day and search for it, try to find the best price and, and buy it. But to have somebody just send it to you out of the blue, that's freaking awesome, dude. Another Acuna 85 or 86 design, 85 design, excuse me. And Chipper Jones, Bowman Heritage. Very nice. Always good to see some Chipper Jones. Shout out to Adam's Card Closet and Collector Chipper. <laughs> now this Freddy's pretty old because this is Babyface Freddy. And Chipper Jones on the other side. This is a Bowman. Bowman Expectations insert. It's got Chipper Jones on one side and a young Freddy Freeman. I don't know what year this is from. It's 2010, so... This is a rookie year card of Mr. Freddie Freeman. And uh, yeah, look how baby faced he is there. Oh, I love these American pies. Awesome. Hank Aaron. 1960s RBI leaders. American pie. One set that I wish uh, Tops would bring back at least for a year, you know. It's a fun little set. You know, all throwback players, Hall of Famers. Here's a Chipper Jones Hall of Fame from Gallery. Another card I didn't have. Oh wow, and 73 Don Sutton, Joe, man. You parting the herd on my PC. 78 Lou Brock, 78 Lou Brock. I do have a 78 Lou Brock, but it's not this one. I think it's the uh, stolen base one. Um, this is a 78, isn't it? I believe it is. There's a two in front of it. Go out this two. Yep, 78. Okay. So, like I said, I'm always having trouble with uh, the 70s cards and picking out the sets and all that. But, yo, know, you are killing me with this uh, air package, man. <laughs> A 97 Jeter. 97, right? No, that's 2000. 2000 Jeter. Magic Moments. They're Jeter. That is sweet, dude. Another one for the Hall of Fame collection. 82 Donruss Lee Smith, another one I did not have. Holy crap. 
uh, 82 yes 82 yes very nice i really appreciate that i think i do have this card but i can't guarantee you that i do uh pink fireworks elite series acuna very nice thank you thank you thank you very much mr mansman for the pink fireworks acuna <laughs> 73 rod Carew. that is freaking sweet joe oh man Here's a Randy Johnson stat stars own the game. Love these own the game inserts from back in the day. Shiny, like you'd be opening a pack. Uh, I wasn't collecting in these years, but uh, you'd be collecting and you'd open a pack and you'd come across a shiny card. More than likely it was going to be one of these uh, own the games inserts. Hey, look, a Ryan Klesko rated rookie. I did not have this card. Uh, technically, it's not a rookie. It is a rated rookie from Donruss, but... Uh, rookie cards in the 90s and 80s. That was a confusing time for rookies. Uh, Ryan Klesko's rookie is actually considered 91 upper deck. Um, so this is not considered a rookie card. Even though his actual rookie season, I believe, was 94? 93 or 94? I can't remember. I think 94 was his actual rookie season uh, in the strike short in the year. But don't quote me on that. And then a rookie debut, Ronald Acuna Jr. Very awesome from that iconic 2018 update set. And we got some foosball here. Let's go, let's finish off the baseball because there's some baseball in here. And then we'll hop over to the foosball. And folks, going through this, <laughs> we got a whole nother box to go through here. So, you know, if you want to pause it and go grab you some cafe, I think I need to go grab some cafe because... Number one, I got tape all stuck to my coffee cup here. <laughs> and uh, I think by the time I get through these, uh, I'm going to have to go get, go get another cup myself. All right. Uh, we got this cool Ozzy Albies Bowman Platinum. Sweet Chipper Jones numbers game. I did not have this one. I did not have this numbers game, Chipper Jones. That's freaking awesome. Another Shea Langoliers pro debut from the Rome Braves. Um, Shea and uh, Contreras, William Contreras, are battling out for the backup position for this year's uh, catcher spot. Uh, it's still up in the air right now. Both of them are very good catchers. Shea's probably the better arm behind the dish. I think right now, I think Contreras might be the better hitter at the moment. Although people do say that this guy can rake. So, I don't know. Contreras is a little bit older, but I don't think they're very much different in age. So, it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top. Um, I have a feeling both of them will be in the mix for a catcher of the future. Because I don't know if the Braves will bring back uh, Darno next year. So, I think Shea and uh, Contreras are your two catchers of the future in Atlanta. And then a beautiful Denny's hologram. Trying to get it to where you can see the hologram in motion. That patented Cal Ripken swing. Definitely hitting a jack there. I was trying to see if I was lucky enough to figure out what pitcher that was. Looks like it's against the Yankees. Uh, but very awesome. Denny's Pinnacle hologram, Cal Ripken Jr. And that was just the baseball, guys. <laughs> that was just the baseball. Joe sent me some football also. We got an Eric Flowers autograph right here on the front. Of course, Eric Flowers. I know why Joe had this one because Eric Flowers was drafted by the uh, New York Giants. And uh, yeah, definitely a Miami Hurricane. An awesome Eric. I think this is my second Eric Flowers autograph. I think Joe already sent me one, <laughs> and he sent me a second one. He kind of, he was a little bit of a bust as far as a first round pick. He was a little bit of a bust. Um, has been a solid NFLer, but isn't your you know top dollar left tackle? Oh, we got some Lucy's here. Let's grab these Lucy's. Got a Ryan Tannehill prism and a uh, John Avery, John Avery Bowman Chrome. We got a Russell Maryland, Hall of Famer Russell Maryland. This guy was a beast in college and in the NFL. 
another Russell Maryland star rookie. Ooh, a uh, Mark Walton uh, leaf draft touchdown machines. Mark Walton, very talented running back, but uh, cannot stay out of trouble. So hopefully he get his life turned around. He's definitely has some issues. There's another Mark Walton rookie card. Uh, Damian Lewis, Damian Lewis, a uh, definitely a beast on the defensive line uh, from those early 2000 Miami teams. The, the 2000 2001 Miami teams were juggernauts on defense, and Damian Lewis was a was a force right in the middle of that. Then we got a David Njoku, who is a tight end now for the Cleveland Browns. Didn't really pan out as well in the NFL as I had hoped. Um, one of those hybrid tight end wide receiver types. Another Mark Walton touchdown machines. A Alan Hearns wide receiver. Alan Hearns actually had a very surprising um, NFL career compared to his draft status. I think he was drafted. Uh, it doesn't say here. I think he was a later round draft, but he actually turned out pretty well in the NFL considering his draft status. Um, Leon Searcy. Leon Searcy. Uh, one of the greats from the 80s and 90s uh, um, Miami Hurricanes. Sorry, I got a little tongue-tied there. Leon Searcy, yeah, went on the NFL and was a very, very good pro. Uh, we got a Lamar Thomas. Lamar Thomas, this guy bleeds the orange and green, uh, we should say. This is a classic. Uh, didn't do much in the NFL, Lamar Thomas. Um, but yeah, was well-known for... Uh, or, <laughs> celebrating whenever he got in the end zone uh, for the Hurricanes. He loved to dance. Um, he would always take his helmet off, he says, because, you know, he's like you know, the basketballers. Everybody saw their face all the time. He's like, I wanted the ladies to see my face when I scored a touchdown. So, <laughs> he'd always take his helmet off. Here's a Brad Kaya. Brad Kaya. I don't know if Brad Kaya is still in the NFL. Um, this is a rookie card. I think he was drafted by the Lions or Colts. Don't quote me on that. Uh, pretty good, solid, you know, college arm, but wasn't a wasn't the superstar. Another Brad Kaya rookie, very nice. Is this Gino, that is Gino. Gino Toretta, Heisman winner, um, led the uh, Hurricanes to the championship game, but of course they lost that game to Alabama. Um, we got a Daryl Williams. Daryl Williams, a safety, part of those early '90s Canes. Andre Johnson, Andre Johnson, one of the greatest wide receivers in Hurricanes history and was a very solid pro as well. Uh, ended his career early, kind of similar to uh, Calvin Johnson. Um, did have a few injuries, but you know, at, at a certain point of his career, he was one of the most dominant wide receivers in the NFL with the Texans. Andre Johnson, very big bodied uh, wide receiver. Here's another Lamar Thomas. Um, <laughs> like I said, this guy bleeds orange and green. Uh, Miami got into a brawl with, uh, I think it was FIU back in the mid-2000s, 2005, 2006. And Lamar Thomas was actually calling that game on uh, on TV. And like the sound of his voice, he wanted to go down there and fight himself. Here's a Kenny Phillips. Kenny Phillips, a uh, very highly rated prospect coming out of high school. One of the top high school players in the country. Ended up in Miami playing safety. Was an okay safety. Uh, went to the NFL, but I don't think he did too much in the NFL. But Kenny Phillips is a very, uh, very well-remembered name in Miami if you've been following Miami football for a while. And the last one is Wesley Carroll. Wesley Carroll. Don't remember too much about uh, Wesley Carroll, um, but being part of that Miami wide receiver crew. All right. One more stack from Joe Mansman. I'm at, what, 20 minutes? And just getting through Joe's stuff, I still got the blowout order to do. Of course, it might not be 20 minutes on your end because editing and all that. Oh, wow. What is this? Bill Miller, end for Miami. What year is this? New cards. Broke all-time UM pass receiving record in a single season. Bill has that. I'm sorry, you can't even see it. Uh, Bill has that rare combination, an uncanny, uncanny knack for getting open in a great pair of hands. Majors in phys ed. No majors in phys ed. Football players, even about right. Bill Miller. I do not. 
They even called him an end. Not a wide receiver, an end. Maybe a tight end? I don't know. Here's Eddie Johns. Eddie Johns, quarterback. Holy crap, man. I don't even know what year these are from. I'm about to look these up. Eddie Johns, University of Miami. Tough hard runner with passing ability too. Big and strong. The biggest quarterback to play for the Hurricanes in recent years. Majors in phys ed. Interesting. They're cool. I'm going to look those up. I've never seen those before. Oh, sweet. It's a Clive Walford autograph. Clive Walford. Another um, great tight end to come out of the University of Miami. Of course, Miami's known for tight ends uh, ever since uh, Bubba Franks. Uh, it, ever since Bubba Franks and after Bubba Franks, you had Jeremy Shockey. And after Jeremy Shockey, you had Kellen Winslow. Um, he turned out to be a piece of dirt. And then you had, you know, other tight ends like Clive Walford, Joku, Chris Herndon. Um, just so many great tight ends. You know, the most recent ones are Brevin Jordan, who may be, you know, one of the top tight ends taken in the draft after a, a guy from Florida Pitts. So, Clive Walford, very nice. We got a <laughs> Scott Covington, Scott Covington. Uh, this poor guy, he was supposed to be the starter. And then a man named uh, Ken Dorsey showed up from California and, um, yeah, pretty much uh, kind of took his job. Actually, it was him and Kenny Kelly. It wasn't really Ken Dorsey. It was uh, Kenny Kelly. And then Dorsey showed up and took it. So, another Covington. Uh, another Daryl Williams here. Another Andre Johnson from Contenders. Love it. Uh, Shane Curry, great linebacker. Um, Leonard Hankerson. Leonard Hankerson was a top-rated wide receiver coming out of high school. Kind of, kind of got big. Um, he was the uh, coming out of high school. He was kind of skinny. Was a very almost looked like Plaxico Burris coming out of high school. And then when he, by the time he left college, he looked more like a tight end, like a Kevin Kelvin Benjamin. And I really think that uh, that hampered his his ability. Uh, we got Anthony Hamlet. Can't say I remember him. Um, Sinoris Moss. Sinoris Moss. Or Sonoris Moss. Sorry, it's Sonoris Moss. Uh, this is Santana's Moss. Santana Moss's little brother. Uh, Canes fans remember him for catching the uh, game tying touchdown against FSU in like the final seconds of a game. Uh, Sonoris Moss, yeah, really good slot receiver. Not quite as good as his older brother, but um, yeah, made it to the NFL for the Giants. What is it with the Gi Giants? Love, love Miami Hurricanes players. <laughs> Sonoris Moss. Uh, who else do they get? Um, Jeremy Shockey, Eric Flowers. There's been quite a few. <laughs> Otis Anderson back in the day. Here's a Bernie, Bernie Kozar. Very awesome. Shout out to Reindeer Studios, another Clive Walford rookie card. This is sweet. Definitely blowing up my Hurricanes PC. Cortez Kennedy, score rookie. Uh, Vince Wilfork, Big, da Big Daddy Wilfork. Uh, Press Pass 2000, what year is this? 2004. Um, of course, played his whole career with the Patriots, I believe. Um, Big Daddy Wilfork uh, made one of the more memorable tackles against Leon Washington. Uh, in FSU, uh, if you happen to ever see that video, he just swallows up Leon Washington. We got Mr. Frank Gore. Yes, Mr. Dependable. Frank Gore suffered two injuries to the same knee um, while in college. Two ACL injuries. Uh, if you'd ever seen this guy run before those ACL injuries, wow is all I can say is wow. Wow. Uh, Frank Gore was a beast. He was a beast after the knee injuries. Uh, this guy's just, he, d he doesn't give up. Um, awesome. I think he's a future Hall of Famer. People say, oh, well, he's just an accumulator. To be able to play that many years in the NFL as a running back, that is saying something. That is an accomplishment in itself. Uh, Big Ray Lewis. Big Ray Lewis. He's kind of stuck to the penny sleeve, but an elite. It's a cool card there. Ray Lewis. Of course, uh, NFL Hall of Famer, Miami Hurricane Hall of Famer, and a legend. 
And closing that with Mr. Devin Hester. Devin Hester, shout out to Adam's Car Closet again. Um, Devin Hester was awesome as a bear, um, but he was awesome as a hurricane first. Dude was just, <laughs> when, when he ran, the thing about Devin Hester is he wasn't the fastest person on the field. He was fast, don't get me wrong. He was super fast, but the thing that made Devin Hester so dangerous as a returner and one of the greatest punt and kick returners in NFL history, if not the greatest returner, uh, was his acceleration. This dude can hit top speed in the blink of an eye. So he can make some moves, cut this way, cut that way, cut up field. And he was at top speed before anybody else could get to top speed. And that's why he would just blow by people. Um, there's a video of him returning a kickoff, or not a kickoff, but a, um, a field goal attempt. That came, came up short. Um, it was the Bears versus... I can't remember who they were playing. Might have been... I don't remember who they were playing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, it was that, he caught the uh, field goal that was short of the goal post. And you see him take off out of that end zone. It was like he was shot out of a cannon. Um, very, very exciting player to watch. Devin Hester. So that does it for <laughs> Joe Mansman's Mail Day. Joe... I'm glad you told me to prepare my PC, and even though I did prepare my PC, you still punched my PC, even if it was prepared, and I'm still amazed by it, man. Joe Mansman, I can't believe it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Mansman. Thank you, Stemmers Hits, for the short prints. Thank you, Four Leaf Cards, for the awesome, awesome uh, Hank Aaron artist, artist, <laughs> Hank Aaron drawing. Um, does from three youtubers amazing amazing people amazing members of this community thank you very much uh, for this amazing mail day but we are not done yet so we're going to take a brief intermission i'm going to refill my coffee and then we got to get into the blowout card stuff so be right back folks all right folks we are back we got a fresh cup of cafe let's go ahead and look at this uh blowout cards purchase uh, if you made it this far into the video, I really appreciate it. Um, so these are some team lots I bought off of Blowout Cards. If you're not familiar with the Blowout Cards forum, uh, it's a site where there's a you know they have a um, old school message board. Uh, a lot of discussions go on there, but they also have a um, a board that's for buying and selling and trading. And somebody on there was selling some team lots, and I thought they were a pretty good price for the team lots. I uh, paid about 40 bucks for all these cards. Um, so, I mean, it, it comes out to about, I don't know, 20 cents a card or so, uh, what I got. Um, but yeah, let's see if I can get these out. Some uh, paper towels in here. Not to mess anything up while we're pulling these out. I don't remember what teams I got. I think I got the Braves, of course, and then I got. I think the Angels and the Padres. So there's some Braves there. Try to get all these out without damn too much. Only a bunch of cards here. A lot of rookies and parallels. A bunch of cool stuff. Paper towels. Paper towels. Angels. It looks like Padres down here at the bottom in paper towels. So, got some paper towels to use in case I spill my coffee. No, on cards. <laughs> All right. There. Need more Braves. Padres. So, looking at the condition of these, most of these are in okay condition for the most part. Just, yeah, let's just start going through them. We'll just thumb through them and see what we got here. Not worried about the video taking too long because that's already out the window. <laughs> Here's a Manny Margot. Uh, looks like an insert. This one's numbered out of 175. Uh, it does have some chipping along the sides. But numbered out of 175. So a lot of these are going to end up in cardboard... Uh, Happy Hour for the Cheapo Cards, Mini Margot. Here's a Owen Miller camo. And a purple Owen Miller out of 250. 
Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer. Renew All Star, very nice. Tony Gwynn reprint from 83, iconic card reprint. I don't think I had that one. Manny Machado, Beam Team. Francisco Mejia, Black Foil. Uh, we got an exception rookie of Jacob Nix. Uh, this is Mr. Doggy Door, in case you remember that story. Uh, it's been a while since we talked about that story, but yeah, this is Mr. Doggy Door right here. It's an orange inception. Had a 50. A Chris Paddock, um, rookie performers from Heritage. Will Myers, short prints, believe, from Heritage. Manny Machado, artist proof. A couple of uh, these Masters and Apprentice. Tony Gwynn and Machado. Uh, Ginter Greats, Tony Gwynn. Very awesome. Um, Christian Villanueva, rookie salute. The blue. Oh, that's the blue or not. Maybe I have to look that one up. Uh, let's see. Will Myers, opening day inserts. Christian Villanueva, 83 rookie. We got Will Myers, don't blink. We got the swinging fryer. One of the more creepy mascots, in my opinion. <laughs> Uh, rookie performers, Joey Lucchesi. We got a, a Star is Born, now and then, Christian Villanueva. Green, Gypsy Queen, uh, Denilson Lamette, pretty cool. We got a Gold Label Class 1 Black. Will Myers, so quite a few Will Myers and Christian Villanueva. Here's a Wood Border Rookie, Villanueva. Uh, fire rookie. I don't know. If this is a parallel of any sorts. Got a Lucchesi gold minted rookie from Fire. Will Myers Fire Myers Fire. Hunter Renfro from Fire. A couple of those. And then we're into some angels here. We got a Troy Scribner wood border. Garrett Richards gold. Random Allen and Ginter. <laughs> I guess it's an Angels card. It's the Bay of Angels. <laughs> no, Big Sexy, Bartolo Colon, Untouchables. And then a Refractor, Adrian Morjan from Topps Chrome, 2020. This is a Rookie Refractor. There's some cool stuff in here. Got some more stuff coming up. Got, looks like some more Padres here. Michael Baez, Rookie Sepia, Andres Munoz, Pank. We got a Chris Paddock, uh, negative. Taylor Trammell, Mojo. A couple of Taylor Trammell, Mojos. A Joey Cantillo, first Bowman, Mojo. Will Myers, finest refractor. A Manny Machado, family business. Will Myers, refractor. Luis Urias, refractor, rookie. Manny Margot, prism. Eric Hosmer Prism. We got a Doggy Door Pink. Pink Doggy Door. We got a Louis Urias 84. These are so shiny. Uh, Urias Mojo from uh, Bowman Chrome. Uh, Morjan Mojo. Lawson Mojo. Ruiz Mojo. Another Ruiz Mojo for his Bowman. Uh, what is this from? This is a Louis Urias rookie from Bowman. Looks like an insert. Uh, this one's numbered out of 4.99. A Reggie Lawson refractor. We got a green Will Myers out of 99, and a Hunter Renfro from Topps Chrome. Pretty cool looking card. Chrome refractor. That's doesn't look familiar. I don't know if that's a short print or anything from 2018. I had to look that one up. Pretty cool cards in there. A lot of shiny. Like I said, most of those will end up in Cardboard Happy Hour. Uh, we got a Luis Urias Early Indications. Michael Baez Early Indications. Ryan Weathers, Best Performers. Uh, Peaks of Potential, Luis Urias. A lot of Urias in here. Cal Quantrill, Reimer Liriano from Prism Silver. Meyer Silver, Jay Up. Camo. It's pretty cool. This one's at a $199. Got a Hosmer Chrome Heritage. Usually these are numbered. See that one being numbered anywhere. The number. 
that one being numbered. Interesting. It's an unnumbered chrome. Uh, we got a Manny Machado candy lid. Villanueva short print uh, mini. Trevor Hoffman mini. Short print and a and G back. It's pretty sweet. Grisham rookie turkey red Tony Gwynn 85 design Hunter Renfro gold Chris Paddock black foil a few of these Padres team inserts and a Munoz orange from big league Oof. Oh. take a look over here we'll probably have some Braves and Angels in here uh, cool stuff like I said I for all these cards, it was 40 bucks, and I thought it was well worth it. So uh, let me know what you think. Did I overpay for this? Uh, underpay for this? There's a Max Freed Artist Proof. Chipper Jones Artist Proof. Julio Tehran Gold from Big League. Simmons. Simba. Got a Shohei uh, Silver Pack. Right the Angels here, so. A couple of Shohei's, 85's, three of those. Refractor Shohei. Joe Adele Mojo from Bowman. X Fractor. Show a rookie cup. That's pretty cool. X Fractor. And then a Prism Zach Cozart. Uh, Show Hey Pank. J Up 84. We got a couple of these talent pipelines. This has got Dice, Adele, and Brandon Marsh. Got a couple of those in here. Uh, Elite Farmhands. Jordan Adams. Uh, International Fair, Shohei. Oh, this is nice. Rookie debut, Shohei. A couple of those in there. From Chrome Updates, 2018. It's pretty nice. Best Performers, Jordan Adams. Got a Taylor Ward. We got a Simba Black Border Mini. Rendon Fake Out Card. Although these Fake Out Cards aren't as bad as uh, 2021 Fake Out Cards. So. This is Tops Now. This is a Tops Now card of a Tops Now card. <laughs> we got a uh, Jaime Berea gold. Show a turkey red. Pulse. Uh, Sandoval. Show a power zone. Emperors of the zone. Show a lot of show A's in there. Uh, show a Bastion. What is that? Bastion Burn, I think it's called. Is it Tommy Lestella? Opening day, uh, what are these? These are called Reds. Canvas collection. Anthony Renault, that's a cool card. It's a thicker card. Got a Simba Gold Minted Showtime Shohei insert. Mark Deshera, this is actually a short print from Archives. Um, a Will Wilson camo. More show A's here. Some cup cards from 2019. Two different ones. One of him DHing and one pitching. Different card numbers. Some of the show A inserts. Will and Ryan. Greatest seasons. Hold on to that. Hall of Famer. Uh, we got a pool holes metallic from last year's. Another show A. Taylor Ward Green. Oh, this is sweet. Nolan Ryan show A from Fire. Never seen that car before. That's sweet. Show A Tops Magazine. Pulse making the mark. J Up 83. Here's a Rod Carew reprint. Another Pulse Metallic. This is from 2018. Show A Rookie Debut. J Up Power Zone. Uh, a few of the Rally Monkeys. Rally Monkeys are awesome. Angels. Another Rally Monkey. And another uh, Pulse, Mr. 3000. Of course, I will be holding on to the Pulse because he is a Hall of Famer. That will go into my future Hall of Famer box. Actually, I got a couple of boxes of that. So, yeah, one more stack, folks, and then we'll be done with this video. I know it's been a long, long video. So, if you've been watching, feel free to pause occasionally and take a sip of your cafe if you got a cafe. You got a soda, a water, a juice, a bear, some wine, some liquor, whatever you got, feel free to pause it, take a sip.
that's better. Okay. One more stack and we'll be done, folks. We got a Kobe Allard. Sepia rookie. Ian Anderson. Very nice. Mojo. Talent Pipeline with Contreras, Ian Anderson, Austin Riley. Two of them already in the bigs. Contreras has a chance to make it there this year. Kyle Wright, Rookie of the Year favorites. He hasn't quite figured it out yet. Ian Anderson, Bowman Chrome. Uh, Cornerstones, Freddie Freeman from Finest. Sweet card. Uh, International Fair. And an AJ Mentor rookie, Chrome. Gohara. Although, I don't know where Gohara is at now. Hopefully he's got his, he's got his stuff straightened out. Uh, Ender Enciarte, Sepia. Uh, he'll probably be the fourth or fifth outfielder for the Braves this year. Uh, he's really fallen off at the plates. Uh, Sean Newcomb, he's probably going to be in the bullpen. Another Freddie Freeman finest. Early indications, Pache from Bowman's Best, very nice. Julio Tehran, uh, Prism Mojo. It's the red, white, and blue mojo. Uh, Shelby Miller, red, white, and blue mojo. And a Shelby Miller uh, checkerboard prism. This one's numbered out of 149. We got a Chipper Jones turkey red. Tyler Flowers gold. Dansby rainbow foil. Oh, Hamill's rainbow foil. We got an Albies. Turkey Red, Soroka 85, Monument Garden insert, debut to remember, Jason Hayward, which was definitely a debut to remember, Josh Donaldson, Red Foil, very nice, Hank Aaron, Red Foil, did not have that one, Chipper Jones, Stadium Club Chrome, Ulti, uh, Red from opening day, 150 Years of Fun, Hank Aaron, uh, this one's numbered out of 150, Neon Dion from Museum Collection. That is a sweet, sweet card. I love that. Nice, thicky. Uh, baseball Flashbacks, Hank Aaron. Artist Proof, Tuki Tuki Tuki. We got a Fire, Colby Allard. Uh, Joey Wentz, Camo. Matt Kemp, 83. Um, Matt Kemp, 83. Two of those. Daniel Winkler. Rainbow Foil, Freddie Freeman Gold, sweet. A couple of these uh, Albies and Acunas, awesome card there. Cards going everywhere. Stop falling over cards. Take them a little bit better. We got a Jesse Biddle, rookie, Rainbow Foil. Hank Aaron, black and white from uh, Stadium Club. Uh, Red Foil, Chipper Jones. Red Foil, Greg Maddox. Black Foil, Hank Aaron. John Smoltz, Never Compromise. We got the Freeze. You know, awesome. A couple Freeze cards. Rookie Performer, Ozzy Albies. Squirrel scratching at my window. Alright, Ozzy Albies, Sepia. Ozzy Albies, Prism. Swanson, Prism. Austin Riley, 85 from Chrome. Drew Waters, Mojo. Brayden Shoemake, Star Tracker, or Stat Tracker. There's a Pache, Bowman's Top 100. Sweet Hank Aaron, Refractor. And a Kyle Wright, Rookie Refractor. So that does it for the, um, the Blowout Cards mail. So it was this stack, this stack, this stack, and this stack. All cost me 40 bucks. Uh, a lot of rookies in there. A lot of refractors. Let me know. Do you think I did well on the uh, blowout cards purchase or blowout forums purchase for 40 bucks? Like I said, most of those will end up in the cardboard happy hour. Except, of course, the Braves cards that I didn't have. Those are good as Braves binders. Um, yeah, and yeah, that will do it finally for this mail day. This super long, drawn out mail day. Uh, if you watch this whole thing, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, it's a long video. It's a lot of rambling, a lot of cards to go through. I'm the type of person that I just love going through and seeing each card individually and, and naming it off for some reason. I can't, you know, I, I, I realize there's, there's, um, and I'm rambling now. Yes, I realize that I'm rambling. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, you see like case breakers and stuff where they're breaking cases and cases and cases of cards and they just thumb through everything to get to the hit or to the uh, 
to the inserts and parallels or what have you. Um, I'm the type of person that enjoys every card, but I do understand that if you're breaking cases of stuff and you're seeing the same stuff over and over and over again, I mean, how many base cards of, you know, Albert Pools, how many Albert Pools base cards can you look at before you get tired of looking at them? Uh, it's when you're opening cases, you're going to come across a lot of them. So I, I definitely understand it. But on these mail days, I love taking my time and going through it. So <laughs> please stop me from rambling um, so I can finally end this video. So thank you all for watching. If you happen to watch this, shout out to Stemmer's Hits. Shout out to Four Leaf Cards. Shout out to Joe Mansman. Um, really appreciate it. I'll have links to Stemmer's and Four Leaf's channels in the description below. I won't link Joe Mansman. Joe Mansman doesn't do any content. Uh, but it's definitely a awesome, awesome, awesome part of this community. If you see Joe Man Joe Man's been around, uh, he's in a lot of people's streams. He supports a lot of channels. Definitely say hi to him. Um, he's also on Twitter uh, with me as well. So I am also on Twitter. And I'm rambling again. Um, remember, you only control two things. If your thoughts and your actions is stay positive. Keep collecting them cards. Keep supporting each other here on YouTube. Um... And yeah, I just, I'm rambling because I just, I can't say thank you enough to, um, all of you that send me stuff and, uh, especially you, Joe, for the amazing PC bomb today and for Lee for, uh, the amazing artwork of one of my favorite ball players of all time, Hank Aaron, and for Stemmers for sending me those two short prints, including one Ernie Banks. Uh, that I'll find a happy place in my binder. So thank you all for putting up with me uh, for the past ungodly amounts of minutes. And I'm going to end this video now. Peace.